Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to episode 49 of this vlog um, I, I, I realized early, earlier last year or later last year uh, that I had forgotten to show my Tifus, the hero of Nurgle character so I felt why not include him in an episode that is full of holy numbers of Nurgle the god of death the war. So yeah, we can go to detail and talk about Chiefus. Chiefus was born as Kalos Typhon and rose to become the first captain of the Death Guard, the 14th Legion. He was born a Psyker, but his Primarch shunned such things uh, and he hid it away in order to rise in power. It is believed that the first chaplain Erebus of the word bearers is the one who taught him the mystical powers of the war. This led him to be, uh, becoming a corrupted follower of Chaos long before his own Primarch or even that of Horus. It is hinted that Typhon Ty Chiefus has may have, been, may have been a great influence behind his Primarch choice of turning traitor. While in transit to, uh, for Terra during the Heresy, uh, in order for lay siege to the, the Great Imperial Palace, Chiefus killed all the navigators of the Death Card fleet, which stranded them inside the warp. Begging for salvation, Nurgle answered the call of the Death Guard and thus made them the cult legion in Nurgle's name. Chiefus lost all his previous regulation as he is no man no more, but the living embodiment and the host of the Destroyer Hive. He nowadays travels the galaxy and spreads the plagues of Nurgle or on any world he descends upon. He reaps with this deadly scythe called the Man Reaper, which is a weapon containing parts which can be traced back to the days when it was used by the Death Shroud, the personal bodyguards of uh, Mortarion, but also con containing new components collected from the Garden of Nurgle. Any human who serves Chiefus becomes an, uh, become a Nurgle infected zombie. Uh, this is a very old model and still in metal, and I've owned this. This is one of my earlier Chaos mod models, which I bought back in 2010, I believe. And I think it's a cool model. He, he predates uh, the coolness of the um, of the Chaos. I think he came somewhere around second or third edition, and he is highly detailed even for back then. So I would say he is one of the one of the few. Chaos Warlords, which uh, was created early on, that still holds up in quality today. And uh, I chose I chose to put a uh, Ultramarine destroyed helmet there at the at the bottom of his uh, swamp light uh, base. And next to him we see a small Nurgling sh chewing on some kind of bone. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So yeah, so that's more, more or less my my chiefest, the Herald of Nurgle character. Uh, I'm personally ra rather um, I'm rather satisfied with the painting job as well. I am, maybe some freshening up could be useful, but I'm qu quite satisfied with it. That's pretty much everything I had for this episode. So thank you very much for watching it. There will be some pictures of the words where you can see in more detail what he is about. But thank you very much for watching this uh, episode, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel, please give a thumbs up on my videos, and also leave comments on things I'm doing good so keep on doing them, and leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so we'll either improve or remove the content entirely, and also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining, or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this episode. Death to the False Emperor. Bye!